In earlier videos of this series, we have seen a couple of uh, modifications to the ideal gas equation of state so that we can start to capture reality more faithfully. Uh, two such uh, equations of state have been the Virial equation of state and the Van der Waals equation of state. Okay, so here are those two expressions and the question that we try to answer in this video is whether they are connected, right? Whether we can have these virial coefficients that appear in the virial equation of state and connect those with the A and B parameters that we have in the Van der Waals equation of state. Okay, so uh, notice that in general the equations look quite similar. There's uh, you know a number of common terms. You have that RT over VM uh, throughout. You have uh, here uh, you know a VM squared term. Uh, again, there's, there's uh, uh, I think, significant, significant hope uh, to, s to see a connection between uh, these two expressions, and that's exactly what we're going to try to develop uh, in this video. Now, notice that for the virial equation of state, we have chosen uh, the version of that equation that is expanded in terms of the more volume, as opposed to in terms of the pressure, and that's just for convenience, right? Notice that we have here terms that depend on the motor volume, so that's that's really what we're, way we're doing it. Okay, so uh, uh, let's see if we can actually can connect those those coefficients, uh, um, you know, between the equations. Now, we start with the Van der Waals equation of state, and uh, we're gonna uh, take common factor of Vm, uh, the motor volume in the denominator of that expression. Okay, and that is going to be RT over Vm, which we're taking common factor of one minus B over Vm. Okay, minus a over vm squared. Now we're going to rearrange this a little bit uh, to write the following, rt over vm. Notice that the reason that we're taking common factor here of vm is because now we're starting to get here a term that approaches quite nicely what we have in the real equation of state. Okay, and this, uh, this whole term can be written as 1 over 1 uh, minus v over vm. Okay, and then um, minus a over vm squared. Okay, great. What I'm going to do now is uh, simply uh, introduce here a new variable that I'm going to call x, and that x is simply going to be v over vm, okay, which is just the uh, Van der Waals parameter v over the more volume. Okay, so if I do that, then uh, my expression turns into this. Okay, and now I quickly recognize that I can actually replace uh, uh, this uh, term that we have right here with a Maclaurin series that is going to give me an infinite expansion of terms, right? So that's really how the connection between the real equation of state that has an infinite number of terms and the Van der Waals equation of state that didn't, that's how we do it, right? We uh, now carry on a Maclaurin expansion on that term so that we can uh, use that trick. Okay, remember that uh, that Maclaurin expansion is as follows, 1 plus x uh, plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth. So that's the only thing that I have to do here, right? So p uh, is going to be equal to rt over uh, vm. Now this term is just going to be 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed and so forth, but x is v over vm, so I can simply do uh, v over vm, that would be the x term, plus v squared over vm squared, that would be this term, and then you could continue to do this forever. Okay, now informally, at the end of this expansion that we have right here, we still have this term that we can't forget, a over uh, vm squared. Okay, and uh, uh, this is how we make progress here. Again, so notice that now, we actually kind of have very similar things here. Right. This is the virial equation of state, that is the Van der Waals equation of state, and they start to be uh, quite, quite similar. Okay, uh, this term here is the concern because that is not, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, is not multiplied by this RT over VM. But we can actually take common factor of RT over VM, okay, so that we can actually include it in the, in the, inside the parentheses. So this expression turns into the following, RT over VM, and then 1 plus v over vm plus v squared over vm squared. And then we'll have an infinite number of terms. 
and then uh, taking a common factor of RT over VM uh, in this one, what you actually do, uh, do is you get a term that is equal to A over RT VM. Okay, so uh, the square goes and then the RT, RT term enters, and that's what you have. Okay, great. Notice that uh, this term right here, right, uh, you can kind of, you, you can uh, join it with that one, uh, so that you actually you it only depends on the inverse of the molar volume. So when we rearrange that, what we get is the following: p is going to be equal to R t over v m, and then we have here one plus v over v m. And I'm just going to rearrange this to uh, notice the similarity there, I A over R T V M. And then you will have your next terms, V squared over molar volume squared plus uh, the rest of the terms. Okay, great. Uh, so we're just going to condense this a little bit better because now we do have something that is starting to be really similar to the virial equation of state. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm going to take a common factor of 1 over Vm in this expression, and then that is going to be the following. Rt over Vm is going to be equal to 1 plus B minus A over Rt over Vm plus B squared over Vm squared plus all those terms. Okay, and now we actually can compare directly uh, uh, our van der Waals equation of state with the virial equation of state because now we actually have exactly uh, the same type of terms. Okay, notice that uh, this is our P R T over V M one a term that depends on the inverse of the molar volume, a term that depends on the inverse of the molar volume squared, and the rest of the terms. So now we actually been able to to connect those two equations, and that means that there is a relationship between the B coefficient in the real equation of state and that term, and then the C coefficient and B squared. Okay, so uh, let's write that explicitly here. That B coefficient in the real uh, equation of state is equal to B minus A over RT, and then that C coefficient um, uh, is equal to uh, B squared, and you can actually continue to do kind of the rest of the parameters there. Uh, now, uh, we're going to stop this video here, uh, and then in the next video, we're actually going to show how we can use this connection to start to calculate things like the boil temperature uh, in a Van der Waals gas, and, and continue to learn about these very useful expressions that uh, incorporate uh, interactions uh, to define a gas.